guys, I'm trying to and welcome to this great episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Noah. And hello, I'm Sophia. Now it's time where we all stand, place our hand over our heart, and join Mr. Foley's Flex class to honor this amazing country of ours as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated, you amazing Sycamore peoples. Always be working, be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be problem solvers. Speaking of our wonderful Sycamore people, we are continuing our celebration of International Week. Deanna is back today with another special interview with our amazing principal leader, Mrs. Shunk, to share her international living experience. Deanna, it's all yours. Hi, I'm Deanna, and I'm interviewing Ms. Shunk today for International Education Week. Awesome. Where did you study abroad? So when I was 10 years old, mm -hmm. I went to Australia mm -hmm. for four weeks, uh -huh. and I lived with a family while mm -hmm. I was there, and I turned 11 while I was there. I had a birthday party in Australia, yes. which was pretty cool. So I lived in Melbourne. 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 Mm -hmm. Americans say Melbourne, yeah. but they say Melbourne. Mm -hmm. um, when you arrived there, did you have any culture shocks? Because Australia is pretty different from here. It is. Um, there were, the big one was, I remember, um, they used water bottles to heat their beds. So they would pour um, boiling water into these like rubber um, heating pads and then mm -hmm. they would slide it into their beds. And so when you got into bed, your bed was nice and toasty warm and I thought it was the coolest thing I know, ever. we come up with that idea. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, what was the most uh, like enjoyable part of your stay there? Um, I went to school when I was there, and so I was a fifth grade student, and um, I enjoyed um, meeting all of the fifth graders there, and so we really got like a taste of like what the culture was like, because mm -hmm. we got to be in their classes, and we um, did sports um, at recess, and just got to be like a normal kid, but yeah. in a different in a different culture, which yeah. is pretty cool. Was there anything that was like a big difference between you and the kids there? Um... No, I wouldn't say so. I think that's what I really enjoyed about it, was learning like how similar we are as people. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think that you know we realized that fifth graders are fifth graders, right? And it's I still keep true. in touch with all the friends that I made, and yeah. um, they've come to visit us in the United States, mm -hmm. and our families are really close, and so mm -hmm. it's been really cool to yeah. have that too. One more question. Is the accent so deep, as they say? Is there any different? Any difference with what? Oh, from our American accent? Uh, I could understand them. It was more so like their vocabulary was uh -huh. really different. Yeah. Um, like brekkie is <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. Um, you know, and there was like all those little words, like mm -hmm. not slang, but it was like their vocabulary mm -hmm. that they would yeah. change. And like that took a little bit to mm -hmm. get used to. But for yeah. the most part, I could understand what they were saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is there the most like valuable thing that you had? Mm -hmm. I would say... Like, just traveling abroad is a really mm -hmm. cool experience because yeah. um, you realize, I think, that how similar we are to other cultures, mm -hmm. um, but also um, it makes you kind of appreciate everything yeah. at home, too, which is yeah. really cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thanks. And nice work, Diana. Thank you, Principal Shunk. That's so cool you had the opportunity to live in Australia. Thanks for sharing, and happy International Week. And now over to Sam V. Hello everyone, I'm back with Hi, I'm Harper. Harper, and we're here with the survey results. We had 70 responses, that's amazing, with a total of 78.6% of people saying yes, and 21.4% of people saying no, which means you will be seeing me and Harper very soon. Next, wonderful people, let's all plan to attend our junior high band concert this Wednesday, November 16th at 7 p.m. at the high school. Band students are now working really hard 
to put on a great show. Some more very exciting news for our all for all our creative writers. The Montgomery Women's Club is back hosting their creative writing contest this year. The contest started this week and runs through deadline day on December 14th. All contest information and where you should submit your entries posted on the Montgomery Women's Club Writing Contest Google Classroom code PGHDLQA. Again, that code is PGHDLQA, as you see on the screen. Can't wait to see the winning entries. Tomorrow is our Wear Purple Spirit Day to support those challenged with epilepsy complications. 3.4 million people nationwide are dealing with epilepsy, so Wear your purple tomorrow, Wednesday, November 16th, to support Epilepsy Awareness Month. Next we have... National, National Day. Day! Today is National Recycle Day. You look so good in your green. Next up, birthdays! birthdays. Happy birthday to Armand C. and Lulian. Now, over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. Uh, tomorrow, that is Wednesday, November 16th, will be the second meeting of the Partners Club in the cafeteria after school. Remember, all students are always welcome to join. You can also join the Google Classroom using the code VNP2AOR. That's that code right there. All right. In January, Partners Club will be taking a snow tubing trip to Perfect North. And if you would like to be a part of that trip, you have to attend at least two meetings prior to that trip. So we look forward to having you for a lot of fun and some snacks. We the people, your meeting this Thursday will be in Mr. Hammer's room, that's room 200, at 7 a.m. If you're still interested in joining the club, please come. Those who have their signed permission slips should bring them with them on Thursday. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Mr. Harris. And now for our joke of the day. Why did the turkey play the drums in his band? I don't know why. Because he already had drumsticks. <laughs> 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 Put up, Put up, Great one. Be grateful for our international opportunities, Sycamore, and remember to wear purple tomorrow to support our friends challenged with epilepsy. Smile and be kind to everyone. Do your best to be great, Sycamore, and go, go Waves! Waves!